Hello and welcome to another edition of another book review. This week I'll be reviewing Mona Awad's novel, All's Well. I'll talk very briefly about the author, go into a spoiler-free overview of the plot, talk about what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, who I'd recommend the book to, and finish off with what I'll be reading for next time. I uh, listen to this on audiobooks, unfortunately I don't have it covered to share. Uh, as you can probably tell by the eye patch, I uh, had an eye surgery a couple weeks back, which is one of the reasons I haven't been uh, uploading videos as uh, often as I would like, so I do apologize uh, for anyone who may have been uh, waiting for those. I hope to get back on a more regular schedule here in the next month or so. Uh, but this book, uh, All's Well, is Mona Wad's third novel. She is a Canadian author who is in her early 40s. Uh, she also wrote a book called Bunny, uh, which I think was her second novel that got a bit of buzz a few years back. This book, is, as far as I know, is unconnected to that one. This book, All's Well, is about a theater director at a small liberal arts college in uh, New England who has, for the last few years, prior to the beginning of the book, been in something of a downward spiral. She was a young actress uh, who had a stage accident, fell from the stage, and has had a series of physical and mental ailments since that time. And the book is really her trying to convince her students uh, to put on this play all's well, which is a relatively obscure Shakespearean play, uh, they are pushing, uh, the members of the cast are pushing for a more um, <clears throat> frequently put on play uh, like Hamlet or Macbeth, and she is fighting that, and the book is really her dealing with this play, putting the play together, as well as overcoming some of these ailments. I can't really talk too much about more specifics because I think it is kind of major plot elements of the book, so I'll leave it vague there. Um, it is set in contemporary times, and she, uh, the main character, whose name is, I believe, Miranda, also has an assistant named Grace who works with her at the college, as well as there's some other side characters. Uh, one who is kind of a usurper type character who is hoping to take over her role as theater director, as, as Miranda is not the most uh, reliable person due to these ailments. And there's a love interest involved. Uh, as well as some other characters from Miranda's past. So I did think that the, the dialogue of the book was very strong. I think that uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, Mona has a, a good ear for dialogue, especially from some of the younger characters, uh, the college students. I thought that was really well done. I think that the book uh, ends in a really interesting place that I think wraps up the book really relatively well. Uh, so some of the side characters just in general the students that uh, Miranda is teaching. I, th I like those side characters quite a bit. And uh, there is at one point a, it's not really a spoiler, but at some point there is something of a, a character has kind of a descent into madness. And the way that that's written, I thought was very effective. So some of the things I didn't like as much, I thought the book for the story that, that uh, Mona Wad was telling, I felt the, the, the book would have been better served as more maybe more of a novella or much shorter work. I felt that the book drags, that the pace is not very strong. There's pages and pages I looked up that I was about halfway done. There are very few major events that had happened in the book. Uh, so I thought the pace could have, it could have been tightened up quite a bit. I think that <clears throat> the book is written in a style to make you question the interior uh, reality of some of the characters. I think sometimes that's handled well and other times it's handled less well. And so I found that frustrating in, point, in parts. I think ultimately the book is gonna come down to whether or not you sympathize with the main character and wish her well, or whether or not you find her repulsive and want to get away from her as quickly as possible. And I could see people, readers, having kind of both of those reactions to the main character. So just know that going in, if you're someone who tends to be harsh on your main characters uh, when you're reading, if they're not uh, standard heroes, you may find it difficult to, to get through this. Um, I, there were, I think overall, my major issues with the book were more uh, dealing with the, the length and the pace of the book. I felt that there could have been more conflicts that arose in the book, and I felt that the book was uh, too long for what it was trying to accomplish, and it felt very slow because of that, and it didn't really have an internal propulsion. Uh, there's not really an underlining mystery, anything that you're kind of waiting to solve, and so I thought those book the book suffered, for, in my opinion, because of those things. It reminded me, if, you, if I was going to compare this to something I've read recently, um, Bottle Grove was the a novel that I had read 
I reviewed it in the, earlier for the channel. I'll try to leave a link in the comment section below. But if you or someone who enjoyed that book, this book had some similar aspects to it than that. I think that book was a little bit more uh, surreal than this one, but this book has some kind of overlaps there. So that is All's Well by Mona Awad. And next time I'm going to be reading uh, The Power of Myth by Joseph Campbell. As always, please feel free to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave any comments in the comment section below. If you have read Bunny by Mona Wad, I'm curious as to your thoughts if you've read that or have read All's Well and felt differently than I did. I, I certainly want to hear your opinions. Until, until next time, bye.